Right. Thank you. I'd hoped to read this, but uh, it looks as though, given the lighting, I'm going to have to extemporize. Getting this information into 20 slides is going to be uh, a quite uh, um, challenging, but let's go. So what kinds of importance? I'm going to try and talk about trade, security, and culture. There are a lot of other things to talk about, but uh, time is limited. So what are my qualifications for doing this? I've, I've spent a quarter of a century dealing with Russia, uh, innovation, technology transfer. This is a tie all about nanotechnology. Uh, I've also been in the business of trade and investment uh, not uh, since 1977, but yes. So I'm going to talk about the gravity model of trade in particular. Trade increases with the size of the companies involved, it, uh, the countries involved, and it falls with distance. It falls with distance according to an inverse square law. What's that? Okay. <laughs> Basically, uh, it, it, if the distance, for example, to Dusseldorf and the distance to Bombay, Bombay is 12 times further. So 12 times 12, 144 times less attractive given the pound for pound activity in the city than Dusseldorf. So I crunched these numbers into a gravity model of trade for the UK initially, the G20, 90% of world trade. This is also rather relevant to the Brexit debate. What you see is a 1% fall in uh, our trade with the EU is about twice our trade in Brazil. So this shows you the... Uh, Level. The EU is absolutely dominant. The United States is just about visible on here, and the dust in the corner uh, consists of the great hopes of Brexit. We need a microscope to see it. Under the microscope, Russia, China, and Turkey are the next three potential trades, and we are doing 25 billion pounds a year less trade with Russia than we should be doing. It's the biggest single anomaly. From Russia's perspective, it's very similar. The UK is also Russia's third largest potential partner. And again, it's a huge app. We are losing billions of trade. What's going wrong? Well, one reason is perhaps uh, that uh, the security issue. Russia has a mass of super weapons, allegedly. However, it's not quite what it seems. We will focus on the Amata tank. We will. Right. The Amata tank uh, was announced in 2013. Uh, it is uh, equipped with optics made in Wales, uh, with a command and control system made in France, and because of present difficulties, it's now going to happen in 2033. Not all presidents are afraid of the rain, but this president may not be the problem. This president has to deal with a very nationalist political environment. Uh, for example, this is the cover of a book describing the uh, covert invasion of Ukraine and the later conquest of Europe and the turning of the UK into a nuclear cinder by the deputy speaker of the Russian Duma, who has now emigrated to Canada out of the way of the bombs. Putin has to... Uh, manage the towers of the Kremlin, the faction fighting inside the Kremlin, the liberal economists, the FSB, the church, and the Stavka. Who are the Stavka? The Stavka are the Russian general staff. Putin is not instructing these people. These people are instructing Putin. They're extremely nationalist. They're extremely corrupt. And they tend to play an aggressive card against the rest of the world. Putin barely controls them. I have direct inside information. I travel Russia by train. You travel and people want to bear their lives to you on the overnight journey. And one person I spoke to, a sergeant, was on extended leave in the army so that he could go and train the uh, uh, rebels in the Donbass. Not officially, just uh, but he was allowed to do this. Um, the phobia against Russia uh, it, it has a lot of roots. In this case, I think we are mostly being influenced by failed Russian competitors. But on the positive note, Russia culture is strong. Um, this is a survey by MIT of um, 
intellectuals, and reveals a, a fairly even balance between science and uh, art. Russian science spends about as much as we do on research and development. These blobs show the size of research and development. Uh, if we leave the EU, they are absolutely our nearest possible um, new partner. Uh, Masha, the Russians love their children too. Masha and the Bear is the fifth most watched YouTube in the world uh, video. Um, it's uh, a Russian production and uh, is uh, emblematic of a lot that Russians are also trying to do. So my answer is Russia's important. Uh, it's used as a distraction from the 2008 financial crisis, from Brexit. It is used as a job-building program for NATO bureaucrats, who are now pretty largely obsolete. And I like to say, Thank you very much.